Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to back to Pokemon Gold version. Yes, and now we are in a battle, so that's great. I uh, caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Last time we got here, we are battling. So yeah. Okay. So we got this guy, Bugcatcher Wade. All right. Shouldn't be too hard. So pretty sure we can take him out. I uh, just got a Caterpie, and we got Crackerjack. So should be able to take him out. It's kind of weird start for this video. I was basically just gonna test something, and then I got into this battle, and I was like, "Crap." Okay, whatever. So we got another Caterpie. Basically, I'm pretty sure his team is just Caterpies. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know how many Pokemon he has. So, so I, I, I have no idea. Yeah, he has four. Maybe yes. Yeah, Weedle. Maybe another Weedle, probably. But whatever little bit more two hits maybe on each of the well obviously two hits on both the, oh, I'm poisoned ah so stupid they always poison me man I'm, I'm serious right now what the frick all right ah Caterpie okay three Caterpies and one Weedle eh. we can take out all these Caterpies and Weedles so wasn't too bad 22 more experience, and um, we beat Bugcatcher Wade, so. That was weird sounding, sorry. Okay. Before I do anything, let's use a poison cure berry. Uncrack a jack, so that way we don't die. Because how gay would that be? Alright, so we found a Pokeball, which is good, I guess. Even though we still don't have a Pokemon. But I want, at least. Well, I do kind of want a Pokemon, but I, I don't know which one to get. What is this? A uh, Pidgey. I kind of want a Pidgey, but... I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. I'll probably take it out in one hit. If I don't, I'll probably catch it. I might catch it. Ah, uh, yeah, I might catch it. Yeah, I probably will catch it. Let's, yeah, that was critical. Okay, let's uh, use Pokeball on this Pidgey. Alright, and we got Pidgey, so that was fun. Alright, so let's see. Tiny bird. We'll name this. Um I got it. I don't know. That looks like a square when you put it on. Okay. Anyway, let's 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 name this. Alright, got this. Um, I don't know what to name these things. All right. Uh, well, I named Cracker Jack, so maybe I'll do a uh, chick. So it'd be. I got this. I got this. Lind. I don't know how to spell Lindsay. Okay, whatever. There's no D. Never mind. There's no Lindsay. 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 Win. Lindsay. Red. That's what it is. That's what its name is because it's a girl. Yep. Pretty sure there's like another thing in there, but that works out. I don't care. Lindsay Red. I don't know. I'm gonna try to use all my names like that where they fill up the whole entire thing. So, so now we are in. Uh, I don't know what city this is. I. It doesn't even say in this game. So. Okay, I know in my Pokemon Ruby I talked like everybody in the whole entire village. I'm not gonna do that here because it's it's pointless to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to basically uh, do what I need to do in this city. Um, so hope you guys don't mind about that. All right. So up here in this city, you actually have the thing known as the Sprout Tower. I will be doing the Sprout Tower, and um, so so let's move Lindsay Red to the top here. The Sprout Tower basically consists of 
not wild bell sprouts but all these like sages guys or or whatever you want to call them and yeah they're fairly easy to kill and um, wild Pokemon consist of Rattatas and Gastly's at night so I don't really want a Rattata unfortunately so I probably won't catch one and I just gotta see how much damage that, that does five damage I'm gonna have to switch out but yeah let's just switch out to Crackerjack here we'll take out this Rattata and Lindsay will get Lindsay Red will get some some stuff so Um, we'll just use Scratch here, because Scratch will do a little bit of damage, so, yeah. Alright, we'll just keep taking out, uh, this Rattata here, so, there we go. The Rattata's gone. Lindsay gains 16 experience, which is gonna be good. Alright, so all these Sages, or Professor, or Old Man, or whatever, they all have Bell Sprouts, until you get to the top, and they start having, like, Hoot Hoots, but... Yeah, so they all have basically, they basically all have at least one bell sprout. So don't, don't worry about these guys. These guys are actually fairly simple. Lindsay Red should be able to take it out. And I like how Pidgey is pink. That's awesome. Okay. Vine Whip should do, yeah, two damage. That's not bad. So, let's keep going. Alright, another Vine Whip. Not too scared of Vine Whip, though, so... Probably won't take it out in this. Hey, yeah, one more should do it. Another vine whip. Still not scared, so just keep taking the tackle, and there we go. Killed the bell sprout. 54 experience just for killing a bell sprout. That's all right. Okay, we almost gained two levels there. That would've been awesome. Um, I will not switch Pokemon. So yeah, I think that's pointless to switch Pokemon when you need to get level so yes so I do have a berry and I will use it because I don't want it to die so so a fine whip on me shouldn't do yeah more than two damage uh, let's use tackle we should take out most of these bell sprouts in the beginning are just level threes anyway when you get into the higher then they get to like level six and sevens but still not bad apparently we missed that's great this bell sprout tower is gonna go freaking slow as crap if we can start taking out these faster. And I understand we could just switch to uh, to um, what's his face here, Crackerjack. But I don't know. We don't really need to. We will probably start to though. All right. So bell sprout. This first bell sprout is down, and we gain 54 more experience, which is great. Alright, it's two levels right there. When did you learn sand attack? Um, I will still not switch Pokemon though. But I will switch, so I will switch to Crackerjack. Just make this go faster than it needs to be, because this is going to go slow as crap if I don't, if I don't start actually killing things here, so. But, Crackerjack's going to take a lot of damage here, and I... Ah, uh, not really. I, I didn't think about that. We didn't take him out in one hit? That's a level 3 freaking Bellsprout. That, that shocks me. Alright, scratch again. There we go. Lindsay Red gained 27 experience, and so did Cracker Jack, so. hard but I'm too weak yeah 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 shut up Let's keep going oh my god really another wild battle I'm not gonna do this wild battle let if it's a ghastly I do want to catch it I don't think we can catch one in the daytime though let's go what is this uh paralyzed heal cool alright just keep going let's go left here Alright, we got this guy. We stand guard in this tower here. We express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Not just some Pokemon, every Pokemon. So, that's cool. 
Sage Chow wants to battle. Um, we'll just tackle it, I guess. A little bit. It should take it on three hits. That was a critical hit, so. Kind of hoping for a critical hit there, but we should be alright. Oh, crap, I'm in the red. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, take out the Bell Sprout. Hopefully, gain a level. Yes, we did, and we're level 7 now. Um, we will still not pick or change Pokemon. So, yeah. But we will now. I'm a little bit worried that Crackerjack is actually going to die in here. Um, we could just go take on the bot or the gym leader, but I don't think that's very. That's a very good thing to do right now. We will just scratch this spell sprout. Oh yeah, I'm surprised we can't take out these things in one hit. It it really surprises me. That. All right. Twenty-seven experience. Um, I'm just gonna freaking keep out Crackerjack here because this is gonna take freaking long, and I just want to kill these freaking crack Bell Sprouts. All right, we finally got a critical hit. That thank you. Do four experience. That should level us up. Yes. All right, we defeated Sage Chow. So there we go. Um. So yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center and I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, up here there was an X Defend. I actually got that on accident. But, whatever. So, I'm not going to do any more wild battles in here. It's just going to take a long time. Well, NG Red does need some... Just, uh, yeah, I might as well try and just see how much damage I do now. To at least Rattatas. I mean... God, it's still gonna take a long time here. And he does five damage to move, makes me a little bit angry still because I'm level freaking seven. Alright. 40 experience, and we're level eight now, so. Another battle. Sway, sway like leaves. I thought that said swag like leaves. That doesn't be like. Leaves don't have swag, bro. Anyway, Sage Edmund. Alright, now we got another Bell Sprout here. Kinda was hoping that we'd get like a freaking like flying move. Like, that'd be nice to get a flying move right off the bat here, but uh, of course we're not going to. Alright, there we go. Critical hit. Didn't even need that critical hit, but you know. Nice to know that we got one, right? More bell, bell sprouts, which still not scary. So, thinking at level nine, we get a uh, flying type move. I think I'm not. Don't quote me on that, but I think I think we do. Maybe not. I don't know if gust. Uh, we might get gust. I don't know. Maybe. So level nine. Hopefully we get one. Come on. Yes, Gus. Okay, I don't know if that's flying in this game, though. I'm kind of hoping it is so that we can take out these uh, Bell Sprouts a lot quicker. If not... Ah, yes, it is flying, which means we're going to do amazing damage to these Bell Sprouts. Haha, <laughs> yes, thank you. Alright, 54 experience still. And we will be using Lindsay Red like half this whole entire time. So go up now all right this is when they start to get like to level six and they have hoot hoots and crap um so we did get a potion I think we didn't we already have a potion okay yes we do have another potion I will use one potion on Lindsay red I know it's kind of pointless but I do kind of want to be at full health here so so the first one is actually I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon yes screw that um, no, not really. You just are, you're training Bell Sprouts and maybe a Hoot Hoot. Doesn't matter to me. So, 
Alright, so what do you got here? Level 6 Bell Sprout. Finally, you get some harder Bell Sprouts, I guess. If they can actually be any harder, I have no idea, but. We still took it out in one hit, even. Or that was a critical, so I don't know if, if we would have taken it out in one hit, but. We did, which is awesome, so. Alright, so we did gain another level there. That's actually great. Beaten by a mere child? Well. You know what? Get some hair, bro. Okay, anyway. So you got this guy. This guy is the Elder's HM. Lights up. That's the Flash HM. Which, Flash sucks. I don't want Flash. Flash sucks. Whatever. It's gonna be... Oh, and I'm gonna be have to be right back again. So, I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, holy unicorn farts. Um, tech... Er, was calling me, so... Sorry about that, but... <laughs> ah, dude, we can't take out on one hit, really. Can't do another freaking hit. Ah, whatever, I'm not too worried there. We can just tackle it and kill it, probably. Hopefully, so. This might be a long episode of Pokemon, which is fine. So, Sage Neil is gone, yes. Ah, uh, do I want to fight that guy? I, I don't really want to. What the frick is going on up here? Skilled as a trainer, as I promised, here's your HM. Well, let me say you should treat your Pokemon better. Yes, he should. He man, he's mean. That's all I got for him. That's mean, dude, bro. You mean? Don't fight me, bro. I'm just sick of you. You piece of crap. You know that? Uh. All right. Well, we kick his butt. All right, we're gonna kick his butt when we throw him down. This a big hole thing in the middle, but. And of course, he used an escape rope because that's who he is. If you come over here, this is your escape rope. Um, so yeah, we'll probably definitely use that, so. Alright, so this is, um, the last guy. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place for training people and people and people and people and people. Alright, check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Any battles, those, because that's how you check. I guess. Um, so yeah. So Sage Lee is actually the hardest, of course, of all level 7, you know, that's, I, I don't know if I can take him out, <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry, Sage Lee, you are down in one freaking hit, because I got a critical, and he does have a hoot hoot, I know that he has a hoot hoot, I'm, I'm, at least I'm pretty positive, so, level 11, shouldn't be too bad, alright, and we got a, and you see he has a hoot hoot, I told you, um, we actually should have used, um, Totodile for him, but, a few gusts should take hoot hoot out here, so. Yeah, level two. Well, maybe not two then. Alright, so. This will probably be uploaded today once I leave here. To leave my house here, but. Another foresight. Or foresight. Um, basically, it, like, it makes it so, like, they can't miss or something. It's very low chance of missing or something. I don't know. I think. Bunch of experience right there. That was actually awesome. Um, he has another Bell Sprout, so Bell Sprout should go down in at least two hits. So, let's just use another Gust. One Bell Sprout here. All right. No, I always pick Pidgeys. Um, Pidgeys are always one of my favorite Pokemon. I, I Pokemans. Apparently, he's another Gust, which is fine. Um, I, I like Pidgeys. I all I like all flying types. So. I love Pidgeys. Pidgeys are like one of the first Pokemon I used to catch. So, yeah. That's why I decided to catch one. So Sage Lee was defeated. So, that was actually simple. And then he's going to give us Flash. Which, if you guys don't know, it lights up... It lights up caves for you. That's basically all it does. It's It does stuff in battle. I just don't know what it does. So, in the dark of all places. And, yes, you can use it. So now, but in order to use good old... um flash that we just got we actually have to beat the gym leader so well we have to get the gym's badge which we will be doing next time so next time we'll be checking out this gym so thank you guys for watching this episode of pokemon gold version see you guys next time peace out